Door, open! It ain't voice activated, numbskull. Your skull is as numb as mine, Rodent. They do not possess nerves. <sighs> Quill, would you put that visor to some use and find me an access point? What do we do if this monster turns out to be sapient? We would likely receive higher compensation. Hey, we ain't caged in nothing that can complain about you it. You and Groot are ex-bounty hunters. I am Groot. Groot's right. That's different. They knew what game they were playing. Looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. I can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Sunshine. <laughs> Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken. Ain't nothing broke. That's the sound it's supposed to make. What sound? You can't hear that. Hear what? Catch our monster. Hey, that thing is bad! Don't let it get behind you! That's one less thing behind you, right? Good thinking, Quill. I was expecting something bigger. It makes up for it in speed! Let loose! I know we're left to hide. But it can still run. There's gotta be some way to slow it down. Are we even sure this is the right creature? I remain skeptical. <laughs> what the flark is that? Definitely not a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. What the? I seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! The whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Tracks, go! Hold on to your butts, people! Rocket, get the 
music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this man a song! <laughs> now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You wait! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Quill instructed. Someone give me a hand. <laughs> Am I right? How about one upside the head? Heads up! We have debris incoming! Blow it away, Quill! Time to thread the needle! Don't even think about it! The quickest way through is through! Dying with a guilty conscience, assassin. Don't you get go on my ship. My ship. Oh, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduf. Your hell is frozen? Patathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt. See? He's so says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! You want me to take the control? No, I've got this! Clearly! Watch it! Don't get us killed, Will. There's still so much stuff I want to steal. We ain't gonna make it. Hit the blue button! What blue button? The one for the secret boosters I added! Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter! Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Whoa! Fuck yeah! Definitely a fan of the blue button! We're gonna start on all sides. We ain't gonna make it! We'll make it! Maybe! There's the exit! See? Hope stretch! How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten. Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Uh, please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. How is Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. <laughs> Funny story, actually. The nav crapped out and routed us through the quarantine zone. Your navigation malfunctioned. What can I say? As soon as we noticed the air, we plotted a course out, and that's when you showed up. Right. Peter Quill. I found these items in the, uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, 
of planet C-53 under galactic law ZXB-47. I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class Three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be your boarding party. There's no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacor Licensing Permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No. Rocket! So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold, you know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. Illegal. Stop helping. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain... The hey. captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single the techs are looking at it. They say that. they cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. The Flark is a Grand Unifier. Grand Unifier grand Raker, unifier. leader of the Church of Universal something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone, looking for God. All right, pirates, let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. 
As I was saying, if you just tell the captain well, that the I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Did she admit just it. say mom? Admit it that you know nothing! Just to be no, super clear on the mom thing. You, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. See? Ah, this is a weird... Come on. Doing great. Okay. That was gonna be amazing, huh? <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> Thanks. Mom wouldn't be impressed if I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> Your mom, right. Come on. We need to get out of here. There's a glass door around the corner. We'll be safe there. Here. Help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. <laughs> go, go. Yeah. Uh, okay. <sighs> we need to keep moving. This way. Yeah, Nikki. Whoa. Just stay I close. I knew there was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Oh man. This is bad. Just give me a sec. You know, I could probably help if my jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate foot gear. Come on. If I can fly up No! To... You're my prisoner. And I got this. Obviously. Oh! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay. This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another black Whoa. Are you kidding me? Relax. You're fine. Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost. There. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here. Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star-Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news. It's some bad news about your friends. Did you hear me? Give me the good news. They're all fine. I mean, they all have life signs. So, what's the bad news? Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! The pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call some? Someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. 
For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? None. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean, it's cool. Okay, wow. That's <laughs> just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. Regulation 2B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. You really got them all memorized, don't you? Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. <clears throat> Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, uh, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kinda know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep, that's her. Sure, this is the quickest way to the brig. I thought you didn't want to go to the brig. Okay. Just trust me. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really f Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me. Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Almost. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? 
I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For the record, I didn't mean overreact, like, in a bad way. I mean, like, celebrating. What a moral person of conviction you are. That is not what you said! I don't care what he said. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Activate. Voice print not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay, I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep ba boop, boop boop beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same... I've changed! Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still... whatever it is you're gonna finish that sentence with. You're gonna pay 7,000 units? 
In three cycles. Wow, uh, um... Okay, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the Dash Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Guys, don't forget to close the fridge. Sure thing, Mom Lord. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. All right. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Groot, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Any units I uncover will go directly to you. But I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It... it it's... an Earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I 
honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Mora. As yeah. no, oh, she's on. You. Thanks, but. Yeah. Thanks. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really. Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean... Don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always a holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't Roar. be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will God sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains. Yeah, of Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, him. well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing, in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. 
That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? I still believe it is a mistake to sell the tree. I am great. Ha! Yeah, that's right. Maybe you're the mistake, Musclehead. That does not make sense. Maybe Groot mis- Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. Out! Ugh. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady. <laughs> that was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. Still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get killed right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought! I thought you lived for danger! Yeah, keyword live! If any of you die, I'm going to. Should have gone to Maku 4. 
Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. We'll be wary, Rodin. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Black! Outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. Food. These sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Will it continue ripping it apart? No, no, no. I think we're good. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. There they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. If it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Flark. That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! If you see anything with claws the size of Drax, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she trying to- There's further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find help Down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Uh, dead end. 
That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me that He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well! Peter! It's ah! okay. He'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scut-busting ass blatters. I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but I don't think he's making them up. Blocks. He's really pissed. You can rot, you free bag and flock holes. At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man. Cram it, fast face. Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait. scud again... Wait! up, people! Incoming! so sure this is the way. The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. Drag some of your Lady Hellbender tippet. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? You say that Lady Hellbender heals it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the whole thing? Fear. No. Just making someone else just. Go. No, you just go. go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. <laughs> 
There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill. We are not alone here! Yeah, I got it. Right, guys, anyone know what that is? Running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. I'll finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. That bomber's full of old dead Nova. Maybe we should, uh, you know, lighten their pockets? By now, scavengers would have scattered the bones across the region. Perhaps your magical mask can relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. Will you stop calling it that? You think any bodies are still in there? All mummified and stuff? I am Groot. If they are in there, they wouldn't be mummified. Environment's too damp. Yeah, there you go, bud. Hey, Quill, mind giving the old girl a scan?